Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone who will be catching my live today. Charito Gabia here coming on to you live from my Facebook page, Charito Gabia. And for those who will be catching me for the first time, I'm a digital business owner and from time to time I come on to share. Oh, hi Dr. Aviv. <laughs> you caught me on time this time. So yeah, I'm doing my um, 10 day go live challenge on habits and i'm on day seven yay i'm almost I'm almost done three more days to go so yeah um yeah i won't just so i won't take much of your time i would um go to my um seven bullet points that i made so the question how do we identify and address potential obstacles or challenges to maintain our habits. So I think this um, the the methods or the the book the points that I'm going to be sharing have been I already have um, mentioned in the previous uh, lives, but um, it's since it's very useful in every in every endeavor of um, starting a, a habit like forming a new habit of ours most especially for us um, digital business owners like who came from the employment um, employment sector right we're not really um, entrepreneurs it's a skill that we're trying to to um, to learn so it's most Especially for me, it's pretty new for me. I'm not, I wasn't born into a, an entrepreneurial family. So, um, uh, yeah, that's, oh, wait, me, I, oh, yay. Doc Habib is, or is this Lika? Hello, hello. I can't add you. Why? Oh, it's still adding. Hi, she. Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 <laughs> Where are you at? <laughs> we are uh, in somewhere in uh, Ottawa with uh, Island. Uh, we came here to just uh, walk around and uh, oh. go, uh, go live. And then uh, I got the notification that you got to uh, go live. I said, let's... Uh, uh, request sister maybe we join <laughs> yeah, sure. it's a, it's my pleasure it's been a while since we had like this go live and since malika wasn't um able to join before so it's good she's on now uh, how are you doing <laughs> how is it Something good yeah um we're my husband's having barbecue <laughs> oh that's oh. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Uh, yeah. We missed the barbecue today. I did. I woke up uh, late today, so oh. Sunday's barbecue. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, we're having good weather and it's in September, so let's better um, take advantage of it, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It was uh, extremely hot in Ottawa. I don't know about the, your uh, place. Uh, you're in Edmonton, yeah, or Winnipeg? Yeah, um, Winnipeg, yeah. I'm in Edmonton. No, Edmonton. Edmonton. Yeah, we had extremely hot weather last week, especially it was over 30, 35 every day. Oh. It was really hot. It's, uh, some days like was uh, hotter than summer. We were like rainy last week. Now it's warmer. We're in the 20s now. But um, it's okay. a bit uh, cold in the morning. It's below. We get to below 10 already in the morning. Yeah. It's the... Uh, the same thing right now today is like here uh, sunny yes, very nice and a uh, little bit windy but uh, a very nice weather for walk and to 
just uh, do some activity outside. Uh, yeah, uh, of course. Well, it was, uh, it's been long. Uh, yeah. How is every, uh, <laughs> like uh, others, uh, I don't know, then Edmonton, you met a lot of uh, our business uh, uh, colleague uh, in convention, yeah? yeah? You were able to meet uh, Ravon. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Tima. And yeah, the rest of the, the gang. <laughs> Najla was there, and who was I? Sasha. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I also met Mel. You met Mel in Ottawa last year, right? Yeah, yeah. Mel, yeah. Uh, she has uh, been here like uh, a second year. Last year when she came, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we went to wedding. Uh, Helen's to wedding. Helen's, he Helen's, Helen's wedding. wedding. Ah. Yeah, this year she came, uh, but she. We had very short time to meet, uh, like because uh, uh, I don't know, she, we could not arrange uh, to meet the full day because uh, she was uh, going around touring uh, the auto with uh, kids. So we only had a short meeting, but uh, it was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good to meet like um, in person, right? Like we yes, all of course. connections online, and then when we meet, like face to face it's like um we've been meeting face to face for yeah. uh, that's a that's a bit of uh, our business because this business uh, give us a uh, lots of fortune uh you know it's uh, uh time uh, that uh, you can make a friend yeah. from around the world I'm and uh, now we have a lots of fun uh, in uh, ottawa in canada in the uh, us mm -hmm. europe australia everywhere mm -hmm. No, the yeah, beauty is true. like, uh, you know, we meet online, like uh, we see each other, we do like uh, meeting uh, online all, but uh, once it comes the opportunity to meet offline, then it looks like, uh, oh, we know each other for money. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, it's true, yeah. it's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gosh, I How is that business? One day. So... The, how is the the things like with the business is good like uh, we are uh, like uh, you know you are going to do a life challenge today huh? it's the first day or it's the seventh day actually I skipped some days um, okay. yeah last week because I yeah it's we know how our um, how our schedule gets hectic most especially if we're juggling like employment and the business and then we still have our household to run <laughs> so yeah it's um gets pretty hectic but i i try to like get back on track because it's i'm talking about habits right so <laughs> yeah, I, yeah i should um take the the lead in um being a good example <laughs> No, oh, I see that. Uh, I see your uh, life. Sometimes I get chance to watch your videos. Uh, you're doing great. No, oh, you, Malika. I see Malika like go on live even without you sometimes. And I, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you, Malika. Before you didn't want to show up, but now you, you sometimes do it on on your own. <laughs> <laughs> So she, now she she's become a real boss. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, lady. She, she's not uh, she's not caring that much if I'm there or not. She does. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, okay so, sister. Uh, nice. This was nice to talk to you. Uh, yeah. That was a long time uh, we didn't get chance to talk or uh, go live, and so now I see the opportunity. I said let's uh, jump to say hi to sister so that would be great to talk to him. <laughs> yeah, of course. Thank you for joining me. And um, okay. yeah, yeah, everyone, this is uh, the best business that can change uh, many, many people around the world, uh, change their life uh, in good way, in positive way. Uh, so it's uh, better to check out uh, and uh, join uh, uh, Michelle and uh, ask uh, information from her. She's gonna help you and give you information, and uh, it might suit uh, for you too. Yes, it's thank you, sister. Thank you. Thank yes. you so much. Uh, have a good time, huh? You too. <laughs>
enjoy your the rest of your walk. Oh, great. Thank you. Okay, Take thank care. You. <laughs> you too. Bye. 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 Oh, wait. Okay, there you go. So <laughs> that was good chat. Um short chat but good. Um thank you, thank you, Doc Habib and Sis Malika for joining me. And um yeah, uh to continue on, um yeah, identifying first um identifying potential obstacles like the lack of motivation a hectic schedule just like i what i shared earlier like for me um juggling the the schedule of um being an employee uh a parent a uh, wife uh, a business owner it's it's a lot of um like time management that we need to do and i'm very poor in time management so that's why this this topic really relates to me so yeah um other potential obstacles are distractions and number one is self-doubt and i i can like really say for myself that i for one have big doubts in myself before but um as uh, Ray Higdon said that um, you can only be confident with um, what you experience. We can say that I'm confident in something that I haven't really experienced. So um, whatever it is that we we um, experience, good good or bad, now I'm I'm just uh, learning also to um, just. Uh, take everything as a learning experience for me so yeah number two is set realistic expectations as i've um as i mentioned also in my previous lives setting realistic expectations in i think almost everything every endeavor that we want to try um this is really really important and useful to us and then number three, define your reasons for wanting to establish such habit. This helps us to stay or get back on track. So yeah, um, uh, I will just state myself as an example, being a very busy person, like some days, not every day, but maybe some or most days of the week um, before I just... I just lose the motivation, I lose the focus, but now I'm really trying to get back on track every time I, I get distracted or something. So yeah, um, number four is create a routine because consistency is key. So it's, um, yeah, creating the routine helps us establish that, that desired habit in the long run. So um, we're trying to um get that uh sustainability right and then yeah in relation to creating a routine so use reminders we have our cell phone calendar we have our manual calendar so that's because of those right um as i have mentioned with with my family because the kids have grown my siblings are much older now same as me so we forget we the tendency is we forget important dates and so i told them um you have we all have use smartphones nowadays and we have calendars on our phones so why don't we take advantage of that right and then number six is stay flexible um, we, we don't have to like be really rigid on our on our schedules because we can't we can't avoid it. Sometimes there are really things that happen that are out of our control, and um, if we are inflexible, it just will create um, some form of stress and burnout on our part, and which is not really really helpful right so um 
yeah just remember to stay flexible and the last but not the least i think this is the most important practice self-compassion be more understanding of yourself and motivate yourself that's what i try to do now um sometimes distractions like make me uh lose focus lose motivation and um just the experiencing something that's not really to my liking it causes me to um, lose focus but uh, yeah just learning self-compassion love yourself if you can love others you should love yourself more right um, you are understanding to other people we should be more understanding to ourselves right we're all human we're not perfect and um, yeah we all just get distracted we also need distractions from time to time but um yeah if there is a desired habit or just something that we want to to do to always keep on doing just get back to it every now and then like exercising for me i've been because i'm not getting any younger right so that is one thing that i've always tried to push myself to doing sometimes I, I miss the day of exercise but I still try to motivate myself to get back to it the next day or whenever so yeah um, the, before I go I would just like to say thank you to Doc Habib and Sis Malika for joining me hello and Nayat I hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right hello joseph thank you and madi um thank you so much for for um catching me and um till next go live regarding habits hopefully i contributed um something of value to your day today and yeah regards and you all have a great rest of your weekend and just to say bye for now.